this week, a new maritime strategy, a Q&A with Mick Pond, and important info concerning your GI Bill. First up, there's a new maritime strategy release called the Cooperative Strategy for 21st Century Sea Power. It's big picture stuff involving the Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard. The strategy is a blueprint for how the seagoing services will deal with threats today and into the future. Next, Mick Pond did a Q&A with Navy Times. This provides an update on a lot of stuff. East Sailor is one of them. He says he expects the pilot to roll out next month for recruits at Great Lakes. Now this program needs time to grow, but Mick Pond said his goal is that one day, every sailor is gonna get one. Now onto your GI Bill, transferability. The instruction has been updated to clearly outline the exact steps required to transfer your GI Bill benefits to your dependents. All Hands also has a step-by-step -step guide. This is so important, guys. There's a lot of confusion here. For one, you need to apply to be able to transfer your GI Bill. It's not already part of the benefit. Transferability is a re-enlistment incentive. So you either need to re-enlist or obligate for an additional four years. Or just make sure you do that when you're at those points in your career. Second, no matter what your plan is, apply to transfer your benefit as soon as you can. Even if you plan to use your whole GI Bill, you have 36 months of benefits. Once you've transferred even one month of that to any dependent, a baby, whatever, as long as they're in Deers, you can now reallocate on the fly. And you can still use it for yourself too, but now, say if you have some left over after you get your degree because you took classes with tuition assistance, the rest can go to your kid or your spouse, so you can split the thing between two kids or readjust as needed when you're having more kids. Basically, you have a lot of flexibility, so whatever your plans are now, you should look into applying for the transferability in the GI Bill now. Like now. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to us here or leave a comment. There's more in this edition of the Weekly Wire, but that's it for this video. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC1 Elliott Fabrizio. Thanks for watching.